Greetings, gladiators. My name is Max Crow, and I'm going back to the zone with my arena. This time, I've prepared something extraordinary for you. Fights in the arena of Slavs are waiting for you. And yes, lizards are included. Two teams are fighting in the arena at the same time. The main goal of each team is to defend their sphere. Oh, sorry. I mean, the idol of Perrin from waves of monsters for 25 rounds. In case of death, a bogatir will return to the battlefield at the beginning of a new round. If idle durability of one team drops to zero, this team automatically loses and their opponents win. If both idols are not destroyed by the end of round 25, the team whose idol has more durability points wins. There is also a damage threshold, more than which the idol cannot receive in one round. This is done to ensure that matches do not end too quickly. Leave your gear at the entrance. There are other rules here. During the match, you will earn tokens for which you can purchase something for the Bogatir arsenal. The shop is built into your inventory. There are two types of goods, gear and blueprints necessary for upgrades. In addition to guns and armor, you'll find modules are tools that change the characteristics of weapons. You drag a module onto a weapon and it takes up a slot. You drag the new module, the old one is deleted, and the new one takes its place. Miracles, right? Consider that wizards are enchanting your gun. Artifacts are items that give obvious boosts to the player. Artifacts are placed in a container that the player has by default. The container capacity increases after each round. Well, what's a bogatir without his self-swinging sword and magic goosely, right? Let's talk about the blueprints in more detail. By collecting three necessary blueprints, you can upgrade some of your gear into a stronger version. You can view the improvement branches in the same place where the characteristics of your gear are displayed. At the beginning of each round, Novgorod merchants will come to our Slavs bogatirs and the shop will be refreshed. Just kidding. Talking about someone who's going to come to you, the shop will really be refreshed. By the way, you can forcibly refresh the assortment but for a fee of tokens. And there is the possibility of blocking the assortment in case there is not enough money for the gear you want. Another important thing to remember is that the product in the shop is limited. Each copy of the item is sold a limited number of times, and there won't be enough for everyone. The higher the rank of an item, the fewer copies you can find. All your consumables are endless. Moreover, they depend on the equipped gear. For example, only the Bogatir Combat Armor has offensive grenades. A few words about the local currency, arena tokens. At the end of each round, they will be equally divided between the participants of the same team. The more Slavs Bogatirs survive the round, the more tokens the team will receive. You can also learn additional tokens. At the end of the round, for every 10 tokens you have, you will receive one additional token. But this amount cannot exceed 30 which means there is no point in holding more than 300 tokens. In ancient times, Slavs used to have team-to-team -team fistfights for fun. So, now that we have two teams of bugateers, they will brawl from time to time. Every fifth round, the doors leading to the arena for so-called bugateer brawl open. The two teams can fight each other, but their main goal is to deal damage to the nest of filthy lizards standing in the center of the arena. The team that deals the most damage wins. The winning team will receive a huge amount of tokens, and the losers will lose the durability points of their idol. Anyway, there will be a chance for revenge. When a team loses in the so-called Bogatir Brawl, it will have a preliminary bonus to the nest damage for the next round. If you lose again, the bonus will be increased. Well, we can't but help sympathize with our unlucky Ivanushki. There are also duels. Bogatirs from the two teams form five dueling pairs and go to the arena to fight one-on-one -on -one with each other. The task is simple, to defeat your opponent. For each duel won, each team member receives 40 tokens. After each duel round and Bogatir brawl round, the player can choose between three abilities which will remain with him until the end of the game. What else do you need to know about the arena? It is divided into zones. The surface doesn't stand out much, but in the basement, everything is more interesting. It is almost completely covered with the most powerful infection. 
It's the place where lizards prepare their chemical weapons to defile Lake Baikal. It is safe to be there only in a scientist suit, but there's a piece where the infection is not so fierce. Combo armor is enough for such places. To keep bugateers from getting bored in my arena, I came up with another entertainment modifier. Starting from round 6, a random effect will be applied. Darkness, falling grenades, proto-anomalies, and more. Still bored? From round 11, there will be two of these modifiers. And from round 21, you'll enjoy three modifiers at the same time. And believe me, darkness is the safest of them. Your fight is coming soon, so let's summarize. Buy a gun, shoot monsters and filthy lizards, collect blueprints, improve an automatic rifle to a machine gun, and if you shoot better than your opponents, you win the match. Sounds simple, huh? Blessings upon you, ladies and gentlemen. Ha! I mean, welcome to the Arena of Slavs.